Hi everyone, and today we're going to start uh, learning about transversal lines and parallel lines. All right, so first thing I want to talk about what is the definition of transversal. All right, transversal lines. Now, say for example we have two lines, right? So let me draw two lines. That's the first one, and that's the second line here. Now these two lines looks like they're parallel to each other, and then we have another line that intersect these two lines. So, like for example, like this one here. So this line is called a transversal line. All right, and then um, these two lines are parallel to each other. Now the proper definition of a transversal lines are a transversal line is a line that intersecting two or more other lines that are usually but not necessarily parallel to each other. So you can have a transversal line like this, right? So you can have a line, two lines that's not parallel to each other, like this, or you can have another one that's not parallel to all right, the other one. And then you can have a line that's intersecting two or more lines, like this. And we still call this line a transversal line. Um, there is no difference between the two lines, right, the two lines here. Okay, now what we are going to focus today is uh, we're going to focus on the angles created by the transversal lines and two parallel lines. Um, we've got some special angles here and um, there are some special property, geometric properties that you guys need to know. All right, so we'll start with um, transversal lines and parallel lines. All right, parallel lines. All right, so the first angle or first pair of angle we are going to get is called corresponding angles. So for example, if we have two straight parallel lines, and then we have another transversal lines that passing through or intersecting this, um, you know, parallel lines, like this one. All right, so that's um, a transversal line. And then uh, as you can see, there's so many different angles, all right, we can see from you know, it creating. And then uh, the most important angle I'm looking at is the angle here. This angle here, or is the angle there? Now, just by looking at these two angles, it looks like these two angles are equal to each other. All right, are they equal to each other? The answer is yes. Um, these two angles are called corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are equal on parallel lines, okay? They are only equal if it's on parallel lines. They're not equal to each other if um, if these two lines are not parallel lines, okay? Corresponding angles. Now, how do I remember corresponding angles? Um, the way I remember corresponding angles is by looking at like um, a, in an F shape. So for example, like, like this, that looks like an F. All right, and you actually created two angles in between. It looks like an F here, um, these two, uh, um, angles are equal to each other. So corresponding angles are equal all right, on a parallel lines. Now please remember they are only equal if they are on parallel lines. If they're not equal to each other, um, if you don't have any parallel lines. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example where we have two transversal lines and they're not equal. Two um, lines and then one transversal lines and then um, we can create a corresponding angle but they're not equal to each other, all right? So let me show you here. All right, so we've got a line here, we've got another line there, so we've got one more line. And then as you can see, we can create two angles, an angle here, okay, sorry, um, an angle here, an angle there. Now just by looking at these two angles that you can clearly tell, um, these two angles are still called corresponding angles. All right, the names of these two angles are still corresponding, okay, angles. However, all right, they are not equal to each other. Um, just because these two lines, um, these two lines are not parallel to each other. So this line here, and then and the line there, they're not parallel to each other. So therefore, um, you can't say corresponding angles are always, all right, are always equal to each other, all right? Corresponding angles are only equal to each other, all right, if it's on parallel lines, like this one here. Okay, all right, so that's the first one. Now we're gonna move on to the second one. So this is the first sort of like a, a pair of angles, right? So we can just write, this is the first one, case one. Now for the second case, case two. 
case two. All right, for the case two, okay, Shh. that is recording lessons. Thank you. For case two, uh, we can have another pair of parallel lines. Okay, so we have a one, two, they're parallel to each other, and we have um, a transversal line here. All right, now, so we've got parallel lines, and then we can see this time we're going to create some angles, like these two angles. If you look at these two angles, then you will, you should see these two angles are also equal to each other. All right, they must be equal to each other. All right, we call these two angles alternate angles. All right, they're not corresponding angles; they are alternate angles. Alternate angles. All right. Oops, wrong spelling, sorry. All right, alternate angles. Now, alternate angles are equal only on parallel lines. Again, they're not equal to each other if it's not on parallel lines. So they're only equal on parallel lines. All right, like the previous one here. Um, corresponding angles are equal on, par on parallel lines and the alternate angles are equal on parallel lines. So right now they are called alternate angles. Now what do the alternate angles look like? All right, so if we look at this, it looks like a Z or a Z, okay? It's like a zigzag line, all right? It looks like a Z. Um, so, you know, this is one way you can remember. This is called alternate angles. It looks like a Z and um, these two angles are equal to each other. All right, now I'm going to show you another example where we have two um, lines that's not parallel to each other. And then we can have a transversal line. And then uh, I'm going to create an, a, a Z, for example. I'd like to show you the angles are not equal to each other. All right, so let's just have a look at this. This is like Z. And then if we pay attention to the angles, all right, to these two alternate angles here, well, clearly you can tell they're not equal to each other. One of the angle is obtuse angle, all right, and the other angle is an acute angle, all right. Um, so they are not equal to each other, all right. But we still call these two angles um, alternate angles. However, they are not equal to each other because they are not on parallel lines, all right. So this is the second case. Now the third case. We can still, we can get one more pair of angles, case number three. All right, let's start with case number three. So we've got parallel lines, we've got a transversal line, and this time I'm interested at these two angles here. Now, it's really strange about these two angles right now. All right, so as you can see, I'm using a two, um, you know, little arc here to label the second angle. The reason for that, all right, let me just probably change a different color so you can see it clearly. All right, so I'll change that to, um, let's do green. All right. So are these two angles equal to each other? Well, the answer is no, they are not. All right, it's not like the previous one, they're equal to each other, but these two angles are not equal to each other. All right, so what is the relationship then? All right, and what's the name of this um, these two angles? All right, we call these two angles co-interior angles. All right, so co-interior angles. All right, now the reason why we call it co-interior angles is on the same side of the transversal and inside the other two lines. So that's why it's called interior, okay? Co-interior angles. Now, are they equal to each other? They're not, all right? So co-interior angles um, are what, all right? They are supplementary. So co-interior angles are supplementary. Now, what is the meaning of supplementary? Um, supplementary means when two angles combined together is equal to 180 degrees. So supplementary means the sum of these angles is equal to 180 degrees. That's the meaning of supplementary angles, right? So that means if I call this is angle A and this is angle B, then angle A plus B is equal to 180 degrees. All right, so angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. That is the property. 
right? Now, they are only core, um, you know, core interior angles are only supplementary to each other um, on parallel lines, all right? So the most, again, the most important thing is you need to remember to mention the words parallel lines, otherwise um, they are not going to be supplementary to each other, all right? So on parallel lines. All right. Um, so what does that look like? All right. If we want to remember current interior angles, what does that look like? It looks like a C. Okay. It looks like a C here. Um, so the first one at like an F, corresponding angle. The second one looks like a Z, which is a ten angle. And the last one that looks like a C for the current interior angle. And the way I remember that is C is the first letter for the word current interior angle. Um, and that's how you remember it, right? All right, so I'm going to show you what happens if two lines are not parallel to each other, and um, are we going to get the same idea, you know, same um, answers, uh, whether they are going to be, you know, supplementary or not? So I'm just going to create two lines here. They are not parallel to each other, and then we've got a, you know, uh, what's that called? A transversal angle, which is a transversal line, and then and the two angles are here. So I can see this angle and the angle there. Now, also I can't really measure it, all right. But right now I can tell you these two angles are still called current interior angles. However, these two angles are not equal to one hundred and eighty degrees. And the reason for that is because um, if you look at the angle here, if these two angles must be one hundred and eighty degrees when they add together, then these two angles must be equal to each other. However, they are not equal to each other. So therefore, it is not equal to 180. All right, so the most important thing that you need to remember here is um, for angles that are equal to each other, right, if you want to find the pair of angles that are equal to each other, the most important thing is it must be on a parallel lines. That's the most important thing. If we don't look at the parallel lines, then um, there is no angles that are equal, all right? There's no special things about the angles. All right, in my future lessons, I'll talk about how to use this property here, all right, these three cases, three different type of angles to solve some geometry problem, okay? So make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, I'll put more lessons um, later. Thank you.